Hi everyone, I'm Hannah Doyle and thank you for tuning in to hear me speak about my current career pathway. I am the events coordinator here at the Hutt Valley Chamber of Commerce, which is located in Lower Hutt. The main function of the Hutt Valley Chamber of Commerce is to connect local businesses to one another. We provide education opportunities, a range of events, networking functions and the voice for business here in the Hutt Valley. In my role as events coordinator, my average week includes jobs such as making phone calls and emailing our members, organising and planning a calendar of events, organising individual events, uh, which includes booking venues, catering, special guests, um, and a lot more. Um, I have a bunch of meetings each week, which means I'm constantly meeting new businesses and new people. And I also currently help out with some of the admin accounts and membership work. So I thought I would let you know what I like most about my job and some of the cool opportunities I've had so far since I've started um, in March in 2020. I'm a little bit of a social butterfly, so I definitely enjoy the social aspect of the role. I get to meet new people almost every day and socialising at events can be quite fun. Working for the Chamber of Commerce gives me awesome opportunities to meet some pretty important people. Uh, a few weeks ago, I actually met the Minister of Finance, Grant Robertson, which is pretty cool. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I will meet our current Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, this year if we can secure her for an event, uh, which I'm super excited about. I've also hosted our two local mayors and our local MP, Chris Bishop, um, on a few live streams during lockdown. Some of the challenges I face in my role are one, uh, being quite young, and two, I haven't specifically trained in events management. Uh, apart from that, I don't really have um, any huge challenges in my role. So now I want to tell you about the pathway I took to get here and where I studied. So we're gonna jump back to when I was in school. Uh, when I was in school, I changed my mind about four times before I settled on something I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to be a nurse, a teacher, a hairdresser, a radio host, uh, and actually a marine biologist. And after researching all of these and realizing uh, they weren't exactly what I wanted to do, I stumbled across the idea of making wine. So in my last year of school, I applied for Lincoln University down in Christchurch and got in straight out of school. And I went down there to find out that after a year of my wine degree, I just really wasn't enjoying it. Uh, it wasn't really my cup of tea. So um, I'd taken a couple marketing papers when I was down there and had enjoyed those quite a lot. So I decided to move back to Wellington um, to study a Bachelor of Commerce majoring in marketing and with a minor in management at Vic Uni. Uh, this was a three-year degree, which I completed in October 2019. I really enjoyed the degree, but felt uh, there wasn't a whole lot of practical tools which, um, which would have been super useful to learn before entering the workforce. After I finished uni, I got a job at a local marketing firm, which taught me a lot of skills that I use in my events um, job currently. I think what I'm trying to get at here is that it's okay to change your mind about your career path and I personally think it's a great idea um, to try a few things out because that is really the only way uh, you're going to find out if you enjoy that particular career path or not. And I actually think I read somewhere that the average person changes their career path five to seven times in their lifetime. So it's okay to change your mind. Um, I personally have not studied events management, but I know you can study it through a range of polytechs around New Zealand. Um, because I haven't studied events management, I'd say it would take me probably a good year to get a decent understanding of the role um, and what it involves. And even after a year, I would probably still seek help from people within the industry or even go and study events management. The main skills I use in my role are time management skills, organisation skills, marketing, communication skills, and actually um, the skills of being able to listen and understand um, what people want um, is really important too. Uh, how I continue to upskill is by asking a lot of questions, uh, looking back at past events to learn how they used to be run. And to be fair, um, your colleagues are actually really valuable as well. Um, I actually learn something new almost every day from my colleagues. 
Um, I have really big hopes and dreams for where this job may take me. Ideally, in the future, I'd love to be an events manager for a music festival or work for a festival promotions company. I think that would be really cool. Um, to get into a role like this, I think I would definitely have to become more involved within the industry, and I probably um, would go and study events management um, at a polytech. So if a career in events is something that you are interested in pursuing, I can recommend that you get yourself out there as early as possible, whether it be applying for a job straight out of school or studying and working part time. It's really important to start building your social skills and meeting new people because you never know who might help you out further down the track. If you are looking to study, then check out the polytechnics around New Zealand or just pop events management courses into Google. Um, there's quite a few options that pop up. So thank you for listening to a quick snapshot of my current careers pathway.